It began as just an okay day. The sky was overcast, and the water pouring into my wetsuit was a chilly 55 degrees. But the seas were calm, and the water clear as we dropped down at the west end of Anacapa. Juvenile sheephead were everywhere, and there was no shortage of the usual suspects. Garibaldi, island kelpfish, painted greenlings. There was plenty to distract me from the cold. I became absorbed in the little things. A hermit crab, a Spanish shawl about to snack on someone else's eggs, a tiny jellyfish pulsing in front of the reef. But when I spotted an enormous mola mola checking out the divers on the anchor line, I mentally upgraded the day to pretty good. Sadly, the next sunfish we saw wasn't in such good shape. Before he became a snack bar for starfish, this baby mola was probably harassed to death by a playful sea lion. He wasn't the only pinniped hanging around. We startled a harbor seal scrounging for snacks. I'm not sure who surprised him more, us or his sea lion cousin. Even the safety stop was filled with excitement as we circled this sparkling comb jelly. My buddy clearly approved of the dive. Midway through the second dive, we stumbled onto an octopus. He was shy at first, but soon came out to get a better look at these strange creatures invading his space. that really took my breath away. The sun came out and we descended into schools of senorita playing in the kelp. We followed the edge of the kelp forest, watching bat rays cruise above the sand. The kelp here formed a thick, waving canopy, home to schools of senorita, opali, and pile perch. We worked our way into the shallows, watching the sun stream down through kelpy skylights. This was a really good day to dive at Anacapa.